everyone, um, Betsy here, and this is a new rhythm that we're getting into that we are all learning. So I hope this finds you um, finding new ways to engage life and new ways to engage the things that are important to your rhythms and to your home. As I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you guys today, I was actually thinking about that yesterday during a mini crisis. And I know crisis has a whole new meaning to most of us now, but yesterday I had an experience where I had a disproportionately angry response. There are only a couple of things that make me feel that way. Number one, spilling my coffee on myself. I get so angry. The second thing is the thing that happened to me yesterday and the chain of my necklace got tangled. If you have never had the joy of untangling the chain of a piece of jewelry, count yourself lucky. It is incredibly frustrating. And as I found myself getting more and more and more angry about this experience, I forced myself to stop. I forced myself to evaluate what about this was so challenging. And here's what I learned. In that moment, I was dealing with a piece of jewelry that carried a lot of emotion. It was a piece of jewelry that my sister had given to me as a gift. I also noticed that it was a situation that felt like it was impossible to fix. I felt like I could sit there for the rest of the day and never actually fix the necklace. Both of those situations left me feeling so overly frustrated. One of the things that I'm learning in this season of change is that there are a lot of things happening that carry big emotion for me. The second thing I'm learning is there are a lot of things happening that I can't fix, and that is frustrating. And as I evaluate the big emotions that are coming to the surface for me, I'm finding that I really am having to lean into Jesus. In John chapter one, we read that the word was in the beginning. The word became flesh and made a dwelling among us. This part of God chose to be with us in the form of Jesus. And we read in John chapter one that Jesus came to the world full of grace and truth. And for me, those two things, grace, and truth are what are carrying me through those moments of big emotion, those moments of frustration, those moments where I don't feel like I can fix it. Because if I choose to lean into the way that Jesus lived, full of grace, recognizing that I myself need grace, that the people around me need grace, um, and leaning into truth, that I want to continue to remind myself of what is true, not only for this moment, but what is true eternally. And so as you listen to my voice over whatever medium that you're using, I hope that you will remember that when you feel frustrated, when you feel like something is too big and you can't fix it, that the life of Jesus is a model for us of God coming to earth and showing us how to live full of grace and truth. Be blessed, friends. I miss you.